What's up, friends? Well, it is time for a Nintendo Direct. And within me, there's this strange mixture of a excited yet bittersweet feeling, because this, as I discussed in my predictions video, is most likely the final Direct of the Nintendo Switch era. An era filled with such exciting and energizing announcements in Directs, some of the best Directs ever released. With that said, I am entering into this Direct with lower expectations. We are here at the end of a console generation, and so we can't expect the heavy hitters to come until the Switch's successor is released. But then again, Directs always surprise us, and even if it is just smaller projects, and perhaps even lighter on first party releases, there's still going to be some excitement and some surprises in this Direct. Besides one other thing, that's about all I have to say beforehand, because honestly, we don't know what to expect from this Direct. Besides Luigi's Mansion 2 HD and Nintendo World Championships NES Edition, there are no first party releases for the rest of this year, so we have no idea what to expect, whether there will even be that many major titles for the last few months of the Nintendo Switch, whether there will even be one final holiday title, but we shall see. This is a Direct fully dedicated to the Nintendo Switch and not its successor, so we'll see what the last few months of the Switch are going to look like. Now, before I dive into reacting to and discussing this Direct, there's another thing I want to address real quickly, and that's leaks. I didn't really address leaks that much in my predictions video, as, it was m as most of it was written and recorded about a week before this Direct, and so I really didn't mention that Pioro had started leaking right before the Direct, and I didn't mention that uh, the prominent leaker Midori was revealed to be a fraud. Even if I had had time to get into all that stuff, I really would not have wanted to. Here at the end of this generation, I'm kind of tired of leaks. There have been so many surprises that have just been leaked beforehand, and I know that leakers have started spewing out things before this Direct, but I really haven't been paying any attention to those leaks because, honestly, with this final Direct of the Switch era, I want to enter in and be surprised. I want to enter in and feel the uh, excitement and, I guess, the hype, for lack of a better term, that Directs always bring. So, as always, I'm excited to dive into this Nintendo Direct. It is most likely the final Direct of the Nintendo Switch era. So, enough of my rambling. Let's watch it. Okay, it started. It started, guys. Direct time. Oh, ah. Crazy that this might be the last time we see this intro for the Switch era. I wonder if they'll change the, nin the Nintendo Direct intro for the next gen. Something Mario! Alright! I mean... Is this... This is the Mario and Luigi! Oh! oh! This is Mario and Luigi! Wh what? No, 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 this is not real. This is not real. This is not real. Ma They're just bringing back all the Mario RPGs, aren't they? Oh my goodness! I can't. Yes! 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 I didn't. No! No! I just. Oh! Oh! It's beautiful. Oh! It's. Oh! And this is. This is a brand new Mario Luigi game. Alpha Dream is bankrupt. This, but this is a. Oh my goodness! They. Nintendo is spoiling us with the Mario RPGs. Sorry, sorry if this is too loud for me. I, uh, oh, I'm sorry if I'm being too loud. This is just... I love this. I love the Mario Luigi series so much. And... Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man. I never thought it would make a return. Oh. The, the developers of Mario Luigi Alpha Dream went bankrupt and are closed down. So I'm wondering who is developing this, but... Oh, this is this is crazy. I never expected my favorite series to return, but here it is. What? And I ha enter this direct with low expectations, only for my favorite series to return. Enter a direct with low expectations, guys. You'll be surprised. <laughs> oh, and uh, art style looks pretty good. I was wondering what they would do with a fully 3D Mario and Luigi game, uh, not at all sprite based, but this captured the art style pretty well in 3D. 
Oh, oh. Mm, this is beautiful. This is... Again, Mario and Luigi, what's the title? Brothership. Oh, so it's all like, it's boats and, and uh, that's fun. November! Yes! Oh, oh! Hello, Mr. Takahashi. That was awesome. And I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. What a... I love the Mario and Luigi series so much. It's so the first new incredible to have it return. Mario and Luigi series in yeah, it's been a while since Paper Jam. Oh. Oh. Please look forward My throat. To Don't do any big surprises like this for the rest of the Direct, okay? This is... My throat will die if you do any more things as... as this last year of Switch has been like... For me personally, you know, Thousand Year Door, the game I wanted to play the most, a new game in in uh, my favorite series, Mario RPG series, and okay, they're they're. I didn't put this on my bingo board, but they are showing uh, NES Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. I didn't expect them to uh, use time in the direct for this since they already showed it, and they really don't need to show it anymore. I mean, people who are sold out already sold. I'm, I'm one of those people who's going to get it, um, and there's not. It, 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 there's not that much you can show off. It's just NES uh, speedrun challenges. Uh, and it's, you know, it's a cool successor to NES Remix, which I'm so glad that I finally got to play, and I really enjoy NES Remix. Um, but seriously, it's it's not as interesting as NES Remix because I mean, it doesn't have the the Remix part. You know, it's just the straight up. NES games with uh, tests, but with uh, speed runs. But I do like that it's multiplayer. Now. That's fun. That screen looks really cramped, though. So. Oh, Mario Luigi's coming back, guys. Um, DJ Duaner of of Kira Tarkai said he would only get a Switch if um, a new Mario Luigi game came out, and, and here's a new Mario Luigi game. Um, his sister has a Switch, but <laughs> now he might need to get a Switch of his own to play Mario Luigi Brothership. Oh my goodness! Nintendo is is bringing back Mario RPGs, and that is incredible. Paper Mario is they remade the best Paper Mario game. They remade the original Mario RPG, and now they're bringing back. Mario Luigi after so many years of absence. Wow. Oh. I could just go on and on. I'm so excited. Oh. November cannot come soon enough. November cannot come soon enough. Oh. I did not expect that. I don't think anyone expected that. No one was talking about a Mario and Luigi game. I mean, you know, it's it's a Mario RPG. They're, n they're never going to be as, as big projects, as big of a project as, you know, a full 3D Mario or a 2D Mario. And I expect that maybe Mario Luigi Brothership might even be the last game, um, Mario game for the Switch. But we'll see. We'll see if there's any more Mario in this Direct. And, oh, it's just, wow. Uh, no one expected that. Um, is this... Um... From Final Fantasy series yeah, this is that, that game that was on Nobu Apple Arcade. Sakaguchi. And composer Nobuo um, or, Yeah, comes the uh, Fantasian. RPG, um, Fantasian. I've heard mixed things about it. Um, so, interesting to see that it's making its way off Apple Arcade. Um, Leo must confront an evil entity threatening all and I'll be interested to see if other developers uh, bring Apple Arcade games to uh, other consoles like Switch. Because, uh, I do want to check out uh, Sonic Dream Team. It does look pretty interesting. Yeah, this is, um, again, I've heard mixed things about this, but, you know, it's it's Apple Arcade. It's, it's uh, Apple Arcade. You're, what you get from that is, is going to be varied in, in terms of quality. And, yeah, this, this does... Graphically, this doesn't look that great. I'm not a big fan of this art style, but, you know, to each their own. And, yeah, with those text boxes like that, uh, it kind of does look like a, a mobile Apple Arcade game. You know, there's there's a there's a, a market for those kind of games, I guess. So we'll see. Uh, you know, more more exposure for games that were on a platform that not too many. what what I I okay um wow um they they took their time they took their time didn't they <laughs> um it's been when what. 
That was like two years ago the Switch ports was out. And they're finally updating it. I was always bothered by the blank spaces in um, in Spoko Square in Nintendo Switch ports. And of course, there were sports. Out of mind from the files, including basketball. Um, are they going to add dodgeball too? Uh, but yeah, this is, um, I'm sorry, Nintendo, this is too little, too late. Uh, but yeah, well, I'll check this out, sure. Uh, Nintendo Switch Sports was, um, not the best. Summer 24, 2024, are they gonna delay it like they did golf? Uh, okay, that's weird. But, okay, cut to something maybe a bit more interesting. After that first wave of, um lesser projects. Let's see what this is. Yeah, again, Nintendo Switch Sports. A bit too little, a bit too late, Nintendo, but yeah. I always enjoyed basketball in uh, Wii Sports Resort, so we'll see if this lives up to that. I'm not sure if I should recognize this art style or not. Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. Is this... Wait. Is this... Is, that... is this Selksma? This is... No. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I haven't played Hollow Knight yet. Um, and I get Metroid... Uh, Metroidvania is confused pretty easily, but that's that's a nice art style. Um, okay, Disney Illusion Island, Island. New update. Okay, I heard decent things about this. Um, you know, not necessarily the uh, deepest platformer, but a fun one, a fun simple Metroidvania to play with friends and family. I guess. Oh, thanks, thanks, Nintendo, for giving me, you know, a, a bit of a breather after Mario and Luigi Brothers. Oh. Wow. Island adventures await. <laughs> oh, my throat. Oh. Customize your character. Mm. Oh, just just for uh, Mario Luigi Brothership alone. This is a pretty good direct so far, but you know, that huge surprise, a bit of a slower pace now, and we'll see if there are any more big surprises. Cause, man. Yeah, I, I can see, you know, I, I didn't think of Mario Luigi. You know, Alpha, being, Alpha Dream is bankrupt, and we just got two Mario RPGs. We just got Thousand Year Door remake, and we just got the Super Mario RPG remake. But to get a brand new Mario RPG, the, the first brand new traditional Mario RPG on the Switch, and for it to be Mario and Luigi, man. And again, I'm wondering, who, who is even developing that game with Alpha Dream bankrupt? Oh, man. Mario and Luigi's back. Mario and Luigi is, is back. Oh. Okay, this is the, um... This is the Among Us update that was leaked a week ago, which gave us the date of the Direct, so... It's finally getting its official reveal after accidentally being released. Suss things out when this free update for Among Us sneaks onto Nintendo Yep, later today, 18th, so. Today. That's, you know, a monster army what uh, the name of the record is going to be, and sure enough, here we are, June 18th. This is Felicidad, a realm of monsters. Those who command and raise them are called Farmagia and play a vital role in the land's civilization. Ten, a Farmagia. Farmagia? I, that has the word farm in it, and I'm a bit scared of that word. Um, yeah, this is a, a monster hunting, uh, <laughs> cozy farm simulator. Okay, at least it's a kind of unique take, but, you know. Okay, so it's kind of mixing the whole, you know, monster catching RPG kind of thing with a farming simulator. So, okay. I'll give it points for being a unique take, but it it is at the end of the day uh, another farming simulator, even if it is a unique take on the uh, genre. But hey, 
again, there's a place for those kinds of games. Um, farm simulators are a bit oversaturated on the on the Switch specifically, but you know, teach the. <gasps> oh man! Okay, another surprise, Donkey Kong. Okay, so it is it's it's Donkey Kong Country Returns. It's it's getting a remake or Donkey Kong Country Returns HD. So it's more of a remaster. Okay, seriously, they missed out on opportunity to call it Donkey Kong Country Returns Returns or Retur Donkey Kong Country Returns again. Yeah, I'm 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 excited to check this out. You know, uh, we we're speculating about a brand new Donkey Kong game, but hey, I'll, I'll take it. Um, even if the soundtrack isn't as good as Tropical Freeze, and ultimately, you know, Tropical Freeze is such a great game that uh, I do need to finish. And I've not played much of Donkey Kong Country Returns at all. But the big question is, are they going to have the additions from Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D? If not, then Returns 3D might <laughs> end up being the definitive version still. But we'll see. I'm so, you know, I'm excited to check out, um, this, the, you know, this, this is what Nintendo's doing a lot of, you know, Luigi's Mansion 2, HD, Donkey Kong Country Returns, HD, just giving us, you know, simple HD versions of things. Okay, January, so, we'll see, Switch 2 is probably not releasing until after that. Okay, so not a brand new Donkey Kong game, but still, pretty exciting, you know, the more... The more uh, great platformers available on Switch, the merrier. What is this? This looks like Fire Emblem. Is this Fire Emblem? The time is nigh. Wait, is this, is this Fire Emblem? No, no, okay, okay, yeah, it is. Dragon Quest <laughs> 3 HD 2D. It's, yep, here it is. <laughs> finally, finally, oh man, getting a full gameplay reveal after three whole years. Okay, so it is just three. Yeah, that, that uh, leak from, from that uh, fraud leaker is presumably fake, but man, oh, this looks beautiful. Oh, I know Drago loves Dragon Quest and has really been looking forward to this, so... He's, he's, he's gonna be excited for this. And uh, it looks it looks like it's complete, pretty much. So, what will its release date be? I know so many people have been anticipating this for so long, and it just... It looks so beautiful, and it's so... Um, again, like they just said, such an iconic game. And it's finally getting revealed here uh, at this Direct. So, far this is an unexpectedly great direct so <laughs> wow i didn't expect this much from a uh, end of console generation direct this this amount of just great announcements i mean you know we, we already knew about this remake and and you know donkey kong Re country returns hd isn't that exciting but still there are some you know for end of console um end of a console lifespan it's Okay, is it gonna be the rest of this trilogy? Yeah, it is. Okay, never mind. It is. It is. Experience the complete air trilogy. Okay, so it was the leak was correct. Dragon Quest two and one and two HD two remake. Uh, HD two remake. So three is released separately, and one and two are Nintendo just gonna be a bundle. Okay, interesting. I wonder if they'll sell all three together. Yes, we did enjoy it. It finally being released. Dude. Yeah, like I was saying, this is a surprisingly strong treatment, uh, surprisingly strong lineup for, you know, end of console generations, especially compared to past console generations, <laughs> particularly the Wii U. We were, we were starved there. Three, one, and two in that order. Okay, I'm not, I'm not as familiar with the, okay. No, I think I understand, because I, I don't know much of the story of the lore. Like, 3 is about Erdrick, and then 1 is about... Like, it's all related to Erdrick, so... And then 1, and then 2 is about the descendants from 1, so... Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, even though I'm not that familiar with the lore, I can see how playing 3 
one, two, uh, kind of works out. Let's continue. With All right, more, more headlines. headlines in a surprisingly solid direct. Let's have some fun, Co. Okay. Say hello to Jaws. Wait, He-Man? Great Scott, is that Marty McFly? The world of Funko is coming a, to uh, in this action adventure mashup yeah, for the ages. A licensed Play game of a licensed product. It's uh as you explore locations based interesting to say the least. Iconic movies, but I, TV shows, I won't judge too much. More. Use special skills and crafted gadgets to explore epic worlds, each with their own unique puzzles, hidden areas, and familiar I've foes. never really been into Funko Pops. And, and figurines in general aren't Battlestar Galactica really They're much of my thing toying so. unbox the universe yeah. <laughs> about the only figurines that I collect is amiibo and even those I don't collect that many of them I, I wouldn't even call myself that much of a collector We've got a spooky silly and strategic so Luigi's Mansion 2 HD I presume for uh, part of this montage of games yes there we go ready for an adventure of ghoulish proportions and so now yeah now we know that Luigi's Mansion 2 HD isn't the only uh, Switch game just getting HD slapped on it uh, as a as a simple remaster. We're also getting Donkey Kong Country Returns HD. Tricky traps. Yeah, as I've said, I'm excited to check out Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, even if Luigi's Mansion 2 or Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is considered to be the weakest game in the series. I don't know it, it won't live up to uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. Wait. Quirky little okay. Shoot. I was uh, I, I was I saw a weird me kind of creature in a costume and thought it was Tomodachi Life. But yeah. Okay. I've I've um I heard of this. This this already released, didn't it? And it was Japan exclusive, right? So this is we're getting it in the West. So plus up to four players in local co-op. Or is this? The new Dempa Man is free to play and launches as a timed exclusive. Okay, free to play, time exclusive. July twenty second. Uh, and if this was released in Japan before, right? Strategize away in this tower defense oh, okay. installment Little slug. of the Metal um, Slot series. Take control of your forces and pulverize. Never played a Metal Slug game. It's not not my kind of game. But again, you know, the more series that, that people love on Switch, the better. Win tactical tussles. I'm trying to remember. Slug it out with other wasn't there a Metal Slug back. game that was announced a while Metal back and still hasn't been reloaded. seen? Is is this is this that game? I today. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Embark Again, I of the dam in this I am. To the gothic -like RPG. You know, I I, I like a lot of series, but my love is reserved for only a few, and I don't really apocalypse. keep up with series Fight that much Nightmare outside of the ones I love. In turn -based but, you know. I, I, there's there's so many games and you know I, not all genres appeal to me so you know you, you, you stick to what you enjoy and experiment with you know genres you've never played before and ultimately I've been trying to expand my tastes over the past few years but you know all right NSO update let's see what we got <gasps> yes for swords oh I've always wanted to play this yes Oh, awesome. It's finally going to be easy to play Four Swords. Finally, after so many years. I mean, you know, you can emulate it and, and play it online, but on official hardware. Okay, and Zero Mission. Oh, I, I, I have Zero Mission on um, the Wii U Virtual Console, and I, was, I still haven't played on that. Coming to the new Nintendo 64, Nintendo oh, Conker's Bad Fur Day? So they're... Games. Turok, okay. I guess this was lost land to stop the campaigners nefarious schemes in Turok dinosaur hunter and they recently announced a remake of the second game right okay is this conquered bad for a day are they gonna do that no is this perfect Dark? oh yes especially fitting after the new perfect art reboot uh finally got a gameplay reveal oh awesome I've Games will be available okay, so they, they're they doing the same thing that they did um, in Japan. They have a special Nintendo 64 app for 18 plus games. So they have a 17 plus one and um, in in uh, in America too now to, to fit with H ratings. I always wondered how they would work around that. You know, like games that are not, you know, <laughs> at least rated teen. What, what are they going to do? But they did a separate collection just like they did in Japan for Perfect Dark and Turok. 
that's nice. Um, I still haven't checked out 007, uh, GoldenEye 007. I never have played it in my entire life. I should probably check that out on um, NSO, and maybe also check out Perfect Dark while I'm at it. But I've said this before, but first-person shooters are not really my thing. Um, you know, uh, about the only first-person shooters I play, or third-person shooters as well, or, you know, <laughs> the, the colorful Nintendo ones, Splatoon, and, you know, less colorful, but still Nintendo, Metroid Prime. And, uh, you know, I'm not... You know, I, I, I am more willing to check out a, a first-person shooter if it's more story-based, like GoldenEye 007 or Perfect Dark, because I'm not I'm not much of an online shooter guy. I'm not much of an online guy in general. I, I keep on saying things that I'm not, but, you know, I am a fan of the Mario Luigi series, and I'm excited that it's finally returning. Okay, Street Fighter? What? Oh, okay. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. That's cool. I, I, people have wanted these two to be released. So that's, that's nice. Duke it out in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, New Age of Heroes. Uh, should, should I state another thing that um, I am not a, 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 a big fan of? I'm not, or I'm not that great at, at fighting games. I'm, I don't play that many fighting games, and I'm pretty bad at them, so... But yeah, I'm a fan of Mario Luigi, so that's that's more than enough for me from this direct. And you know, I said every direct. I love that uh, the direct has such uh, not the direct the, the Switch in general has such a variety of games that appeal to such a variety of, of different uh, audiences. And that's just that's awesome because you know the more the merrier for people. Ooh, okay, something. Uh, no, okay, uh, uh, another Mario. Mario Party. <laughs> All right. Yeah. In the Mario Party series, as I expected. On an enormous island resort. Get it's gonna be traditional Mario Party, right? Though, right? Selection of Mario Party it looks similar. Super Mario what? Party Jamboree. So it's. First, let's see some of the new boards. This looks like. To collect the most stars. Wait. So it's Take the it's not Super Mario Party, but it's in Rainbow is it? A, it's not really a Super Mario Party. They wouldn't do that. It's just using the same name. Is that just gonna have the name that Mario Party's gonna have from now on? Okay, that's fun. A, a, a race car track. So yeah, Mario Party, a pretty safe option to you know finish out the switch and i'm hoping after superstars they're gonna make this you know not reliant on motion controls uh it's just hopefully gonna be traditional controls so okay so they're also i i, I was like wait isn't that mario's rainbow castle but it is okay but only just two boards are we gonna speculate about dlc <laughs> this is nice yeah uh oh. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Please, let us use traditional, traditional controls, please. No, it, it's going to make us use the single Joy Con, isn't it? Oh, nice. And it's going to have online built in from the start, so that's nice. Compete against your rivals and aim for first place. Okay, so like I said, Mario Party, a pretty safe way to. Um, and out the generation. Wait, there are even more new modes? The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be underway. The biggest. <laughs> when the Super Mario Apparently. Party Jamboree okay, it's October. launches on the Nintendo Switch system. And it looks like they're going to make us play with a single Joy-Con again. <laughs> so, it might look like uh, Mario Party Superstars is going to going to continue to be the uh, definitive Party Mario Party on Switch. With new hey, those new boards look nice and games. I gotta say, I'm, I'm interested to check this out. Um, although, calling it Super Mario Party Jamboree is a bit confusing because it does make it seem like it's a re release of Super Mario Party. But okay, what's this? Is this. Oh my goodness, a 2D Zelda! No way. No! It's in the. Okay, so it's in the Link's Awakening art style. Is this brand new? I mean, I was about to say, is this a Link to the Past? But Zelda wasn't there in the... Is this a brand new 2D Zelda? If so, it is. 
It is. Okay, and also, I love how Link is also kind of, you know, he's still classic Link, but he also looks... <gasps> Are we gonna play Zelda? Oh, are we gonna play Zelda? No, this is not a Legend of Zelda. This is a Legend of Z Zelda game where he plays Zelda. No way! It's a new 2D Zelda game, and we play as Zelda. What so many people have been wanting rolled up into two: a new Zelda game, The Legend of Zelda: Echoes of Wisdom. Oh my goodness! A new Zelda game, a 2D Zelda game, and one where he plays Zelda. Hello, everyone. Awesome. Onuma, oh, man. No way. Oh. This, this, this direct is surprisingly latest awesome. It's the Legend of wow. Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. This time around, Link you play Zelda. Now it's up to Prince. Oh my Zelda goodness! To step into the protagonist oh my goodness! Oh, I don't like that it's still in the Link's Awakening art style, but it's oh, it still looks awesome. It still looks great. Breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. To explain more, please take a look at this video. Oh man! Wow! Stolen away. Across the vast lands of Hyrule, wow. strange rifts have appeared and have taken wow. many this is, people, including This is awesome. Link. Because now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives huh. a mysterious so. staff called the Tri Rod. It, are we finally going to get stuff related to the Triforce to after, you know, it being absent for Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom? By waving the Tri Rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an Echo. Once you learn an echo of something, ah, you can that's interesting. It whenever you'd like. That is going to create some unique puzzles. Path, you can create echoes oh. and mm. to get a leg up. No, is it a brand new 2D Just Zelda? Like it's that. you play a Zelda and because of that you it's going to have unique boxes, mechanics. That's awesome. And unusual things like water blocks. Oh. How you use them separately or together is entirely This is awesome. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna sound like a broken record. I'm just gonna continue talking about how cool this is, but seriously, we finally get a 2D Zelda, and not only is it a 2D Zelda, but it's one where we play as Zelda herself. Oh, and there's Gerudo Town. Even battles will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo. It's one where we play as Zelda, and it because of that, it has brand new unique mechanics. <gasps> oh. Doing so, you can. Oh, that's a good mechanic. I like that. That you can summon monsters to fight monsters for you. Have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create. Zelda fights in her own unique way. That's awesome. So, is, key is this being? All. I assume is this being developed by Grezzo? It, I would assume so. Yeah, this is awesome. This is great. I wa I wonder where the timeline is going to take place. <laughs> okay, you, the first. 2D Zelda game in 10 years, and it, we get to play as Zelda. The, <gasps> the Echo Tree, yes! In Zelda's hands. We get to play as Zelda, and it's it's brand new 2D Zelda game. That's awesome. How was that? That was awesome, Mr. Anuma. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for, for uh, to presumably to Grezzo. <laughs> That's, that is... Oh, not only are they making a new 2D Zelda game, it's, it's Zelda, and... In short, it's we've so created unique. a game where each player's wow. experience will be different. This is awesome. September. Oh. Wisdom launches September 26th. And I thought that this was going to be a... Ooh, that looks nice. Will also be available at launch. And we thought this was going to be a... You know, it's still, you know, smaller projects, but this is not a light end of the Switch at all. Now, I'd like to return this moment I'd stolen away back to Mr. Takahashi. Okay, you stolen away, just like the stole. Oh. And the direct's not even over yet. How much longer do we have? About 10 minutes still. And wow. This is, this is, this, this is a good one. This is a good one. Okay, so I expect, you know. Okay, let's just dance down. Get a nice breather after that craziness. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Just a, just a bit of a breather. So I'm, I'm probably going to mute the music so I don't get copyright claimed. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is a good direct. <laughs> they are not starving us here at the end of the Switch.
They're giving us smaller projects, you know, but still exciting smaller projects. A new Mario and Luigi game. A new 2D Zelda game for the first time in 10 years. Starring Zelda herself. Uh, and, and, you know, a new Mario Party. And... Oh, I, I need to, I need to get up. I need to, I need to, oh, mm. I got so much energy. I, I, this is so, Ooh, just breathe, just breathe for a moment. Just breathe, breathe, breathe. Oof. Oh, okay. I need to, I don't want to knock down anything. I'm... Oh, okay. Okay. Here's the adventure is on the horizon. Lego Horizons Adventures that was announced. Uh, at the Sony State of Play, which was surprising to say the least. I mean, it makes sense, you know, Lego games do well on Switch, but seriously, a Sony IP in any way, shape, form, or size on Nintendo, especially when it's major as Ryzen's, is, is interesting to see. But again, it's it's Lego, and it makes sense, you know, they, they want they want uh, some fans, maybe maybe kids, to, to experience Horizons on on uh, you know the Switch, maybe. They, come to like the world and characters and then say how do i play Horizon? oh i gotta check it on playstation i guess i'll have to get playstation too but you know again it makes sense but it's still surprising um yeah you know, i've said this in the past i'm not i'm not the biggest fan of lego games they're a bit too formulaic but this you know this one looks pretty nice um and also just offering a unique take on a series that i never expected to get a lego game so it's interesting Lego Horizon Adventures oh. launches on Nintendo Switch. I just keep on thinking about uh, The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. That's crazy. Zelda fan ace is going crazy. Begins. Oh, Stray? Okay. Um. Wasn't this? Um, yeah, this was nominated for... Did it win Indie Game of the Year a while back? But... It was... From what I saw, it was, you know graphically pretty nice, so I wonder how it's going to run on, on Switch. So. We'll see. But hey, who needs this? We already got uh, Big City Little Kitty on Switch. Who, who needs Stray? I, I still haven't checked her out. Uh, Big City Little Kitty yet. Or is it Little City Big Kitty? You're a little kitty in a big city in this game, too. Oh, man. This game is just ripping off Little Kitty Big City. <clears throat> Ugh. Nah, I just kidding. It's interesting to see this finally make its way onto Switch after <laughs> after a while. Um, into more areas of this unfamiliar world and make your way back to safety. Stray yep. finds its way onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Yep. Finally coming to Switch, so that's interesting. Welcome home, Wait, what, was, what was the name of this Hobbit game that was announced a while back? Uh, Tales of the Shire. Like a from the Lord of the Rings. Now, a it's, you know, a farm life simulator, but it's, quiet corner of Middle Earth it's Lord of the Rings, and I'm, I, I'm a decent fan appearance. of Lord of the Rings, but I never really play that many Lord of the Rings video games just in the Shire. As a newcomer to the little <sighs> of They never seem to escape the curse of neighbors, licensed games, and problems, again, and I'm not... Or three. I'm not into that many cozy Garden, games, so, fish, forage, and cook. you know, it's interesting to see a Lord of the Rings take on it, but it's still, a dinner party at the end of the day, a cozy game is a cozy game, and it's going to appeal to people who like those games, and I'm not one of those people, so, and I'm, I'm fine with that, you know, there's, there's so many that if I was a fan of cozy games, I would be drowning in games, so, I already am drowning in games, but I would be even more so drowning in games if I was a fan of those kind of games. Okay, yep, Ace Attorney. Um, checkmate. Which... Okay, yeah, so it's, it's another collection. That's nice. Uh, there's a lot of Ace Attorney games available on Switch, so... Oh, they're only in Japan? Okay. <laughs> I'm not that familiar with the Ace Attorney uh, series, but that's cool. You know, there's... There are tons of uh, Ace Attorney games available on Switch, so I guess, you know, some more are always welcome. Uh, those its attorney fans are eating good on Switch with all these collections. Cases. Enjoy all new hand-drawn character visuals from the original series character designer. Or oh. oh, that's nice. Okay, that's always good that you can. When a uh, remake or remaster gives you the option to actually have the original art style, that's that's always a plus in my book. 
past and present collide as you uncover the truth at any cost. Ace Attorney Investigations nice. Collection. Another Ace Attorney Collection, but again, uh, another Ace Attorney Collection, but it's always, again, always welcome. On Nintendo eShop. Okay, what well, is black screen? What is this? Wait. Should I? I always say this with, with, with titles like this. Should I recognize this? I, I probably should. After a devastating attack by unknown assailants, Takumi Samino's life gets turned upside down. A mysterious school mascot suddenly appears. While Takumi <clears throat> manages to get out of harm's way, he's then forced to enroll at the Last Defense Academy, along with 15 I'm sure what this is, but again, <laughs> I keep on saying it indirect, but not a game that uh, style Their mission is to defend or graphic style at all that. Um, for 100 days. Appeals to me, you know. It's, it's interesting, attack of RPG. Um, but... I, I, I want to say that the art style looks familiar, uh, but there's so many games that look like this, I, I honestly don't know. Um, and return to his normal life, I'll probably, the creators of yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I was like, am I gonna recognize the 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 uh, developers of this or the, or the people behind it? Yeah, it's the people behind Donkey Kong. That explains the art style. Embark on a saga spanning generations. Okay. When is this? A full remake oh, okay, no, this is not. Saga this is not the new saga game because I was like, Nintendo isn't that already released? And I'm pretty sure it did. But this is a remake of, a, of another saga game. That's. That's nice to see. Rule and expand the empire of Varen across multiple generations while challenging the legendary Again, seven this is a surprisingly solid direct. <laughs> um, even if it has a lot of things that don't appeal to me, you know, it's it's still a lot of beloved combat, series. Uh, but then it does have a lot of like stuff that <laughs> gets skills. me so excited. Um, and <laughs> Mario and Luigi. Yeah, that's that's great. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns HD is you know. Not that surprising and not that key. exciting, but I'm still excited that, you know, okay, I, I said it's not that exciting, but then I go on and say I'm excited. Uh, but no, I'm interested to see, you know, if that's going to be available on Switch, you know. All the Donkey Kong Country games will now be playable on Switch, and that's awesome. Um, and of course, Super Mario Party Jamboree looks interesting, but doesn't look to be that much of an evolution of Super Mario Party, but we'll see. Um, it might be, remain that... Mario Party Superstars will still remain the best Mario Party on the Switch. Uh, and then also, a new 2D Zelda. The first one in 10 years, and we get to play as Zelda. You know, again, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of them just doing the Link's Awakening art style again, but, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's Grezzo, most likely, and I'll allow them to, to do that. It's, it's just so exciting. Almost everything. What's our one last thing? Next will be our Metroid last Prime 4, please. Please take a look. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Please be Metroid Prime 4. Is this Yes! Yes! Is is this Metroid Prime 4? Is it? Or is it Is it Is this 2D or 3D? It has to be Metroid Prime 4. Yes! It is! It is! It is! It is! <gasps> no! What? Yes! Yes! <gasps> Finally! Oh, and it looks so good! It looks so good! It looks just as good as Metroid Prime Remastered. And, oh! A lot's happening. Oh! Finally! <laughs> Finally! Oh, man! Seven years, seven years after it was first announced, five years after it restarted development, Metroid Prime 4 is finally here. Oh, oh man, this is awesome. We're finally getting... <laughs> Silux, baby! It's Silux! Just a teaser. Just a teaser, but that's enough. 
Metroid Prime 4. Beyond all. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, it's, it's, wait. Oh, there's more? Oh. It looks beautiful. It looks so beautiful. 2025. I can wait. I can wait. I can wait. It is... Oh. Oh, oh man. Are you going to give us... Um, Stragashi, are you going to give us... Prime 2 and Prime 3, maybe? Prime no, I'm fine with just Prime 4. Oh. After a very oh, long yes, time, a very long time. We are finally able to share more <laughs> yes. information. About and it looks beautiful. It looks release is stunning. 2025. So please oh. wait a little bit longer. We finally saw it. We hope you're looking forward to Samus Aran's Oh, Psylax is all. That's all. Oh man. Oh man. It happened. It really happened. Metroid Prime 4. Metroid Prime 4. Oh, man. That is crazy. That's just crazy. I don't know what to say. Wow. I said during the Direct that this was a surprisingly solid Direct, but I take it back. This was a surprisingly spectacular Direct. Wow. I came in with low expectations, and I had my expectations blown out of the water completely. That was one of the best directs I've ever seen. There might have been directs with more enormous announcements, but just for what that direct had at the time it had it, here at the very end of the Nintendo Switch's lifespan, absurd. Simply absurd. And it continues the trend of the end of the Switch's lifespan seems to be tailored perfectly for my tastes. Wow. We're getting a brand new Mario Luigi game. That's one of my favorite series of all time. And I never expected a return. We're getting... A, we've gotten a new Mario RPG in every Mario RPG series. The original Super Mario RPG, Paper Mario, and now the first brand new traditional Mario RPG on the Switch. Mario and Luigi Brothership in. Mm, it looks good. Oh, man. And then, you know, not as exciting, but Donkey Kong Country Returns HD, a welcome addition to the Switch. Now we'll have all the Donkey Kong Country games on Switch. That's pretty great. Uh, Super Mario Party Jamboree, also not as exciting, but still looks like a decent way to finish Mario Party on the Switch. And again, doesn't look like it'll sully the track record of Mario Party on Switch. It might not be as good as Superstars, it might continue to make us use gimmicks, but still, it looks like an excellent expansion of all that Super Mario Party was. And then something I should have expected, but didn't, a new 2D Zelda game. Again, it's in the style of Link's Awakening, which is not my favorite, but I can excuse it. It's the first brand new 2D Zelda game in 10 years, and it stars Zelda. She is finally playable in a mainline Legend of Zelda game, not counting spirit tracks, of course. That's crazy. That is absurd. I I didn't expect a 2D Zelda, and I certainly did not expect a 2D Zelda starring Zelda as a playable character. That's absurd. And it's being released alongside a nice new uh, Switch Lite, so that's, that's excellent in my book. And speaking of Zelda, we also get Four Swords on Nintendo Switch Online, finally. That's not the most exciting announcement, but I'm really happy for that game to finally be easily accessible and i'm excited to finally try that game out for the first time ever but exciting <laughs> you can't get as exciting as metroid prime 4. how is this even real how, this is a dream this can't be happening metroid prime 4 seven years to the month that it was officially announced five years over five years in fact since it restarted development and it's finally here Metroid Prime 4. Not just Metroid Prime 4. Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. And I'm sure it fits thematically, but it also fits here in the moment. Because Metroid Prime 4 looks to be beyond my expectation and imagination. It looks so beautiful. It looks so... Oh, just... Oh, I, I can't describe it. It's finally here. Metroid Prime 4. And it's coming out next year. Maybe it's a cross-gen game for the Switch too, because... It looks, does look pretty great, and oh, it looks, oh, 
I need to stop. I need to stop. I'm just going to rant and ramble on and on excitedly about how this was not just a surprisingly solid direct, but it was a surprisingly spectacular direct. One of the best directs ever released. You know, there have been directs with more huge, exciting announcements, and this one did focus on slightly smaller projects and games that have probably been in development for a long time. Uh, you know, obviously, Metroid Prime 4, this 2D Zelda game probably has just been in development for a while, since it's been 10 years since the last 2D Zelda game. And, and you know, a Mario RPG and a Mario Party, not as big as a, a 3D Mario or even a 2D Mario, but still, nonetheless, pretty big deals for Mario fans, especially Mario and Luigi, after n almost a decade since the first brand new title in the series, and after we thought it would never return. And of course, Metroid Prime 4, like I said, has been in development for a while. So yes, this has been focused on projects that have been a long time coming, and projects that are smaller, but projects that are nonetheless extremely exciting, both you know as a Nintendo fan, and for me personally, it continues the trend of the end of the Switch's lifespan seemingly being catered specifically to my taste, and that's awesome. And of course, we had a bunch of excellent third-party games, most notably the Dragon Quest HD 2D Eridric Trilogy. That looks excellent, but man, the first-party offerings in this Direct, <sighs> incredible. I came in with such low expectations, thinking, this is the end of the console generation. We're not going to see much. And wow. 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 <laughs> okay. That's 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 more than enough. I, I'll just go on and on about how surprisingly spectacular this Direct was and how even here at the end of the Switch's lifespan, they are giving us such incredible and amazing titles. <sighs> I think looking back at the end of it, we're going to see Switch, or at least I'm going to see Switch, as the greatest Nintendo console ever. It had its flaws, but its library of games here finished off with a new Mario Luigi game, a, a new 2D Zelda game for the first time in 10 years, and Metroid Prime 4. Just incredible. What a surprisingly spectacular direct. To end off, most likely, Nintendo's most spectacular console generation. Thank you so much for listening to my excited ranting and rambling and reaction. Uh, that's not a word, but I'll still say it, reactioning. I'm going to start using that. I probably screened my head off way too much, and I'm, I'm sorry. I just get excited about these things, especially when it's titles that I didn't expect and titles that I love so much. Um, Thank you so much for listening to me react to and discuss this surprisingly spectacular direct. This has been Kirito Arkai, and I will see you next time. Oh, this can't be real. It, it's Metroid Prime 4. This is a dream. This is a dream, right? Somebody pinch me. Somebody wake me up. This can't be real. It's Metroid Prime 4. <laughs> Finally.